Pollution undoubtedly is threatening human health as well as animals and insects' well-being and even existence. In recent years, researchers and beekeepers have noticed a mysterious phenomenon called colony collapse disorder, in which worker bees are disappearing in the colony and leave behind their queen. This year, PTS released the second documentary on this issue, which continues the scientific investigation into the disappearance of bees and the consequences produced by this phenomenon. Bees are known for their small sizes, their yellow and black markings, and their hardworking nature. Many people tend to overlook the important role played by bees in nature because bees and humans normally do not interact. They may also be unaware that bees are essential to the survival of humankind. 90% of the world's cash crops require pollination by bees. If they are not pollinated by bees, they will not grow, which in turn will severely reduce the world's food supply and adversely affect the existence of humans and animals. During the past 20 years, there have been numerous cases of mass bee deaths. Scientists spent many years trying to determine the reason. They concluded the reason for colony collapse disorder was pesticides. National Taiwan University entomology professor Yang Enchen is considered the world's foremost melitologist. He led a team of researchers to disprove the hypothesis that pesticide doses per se are not enough to directly kill bees. They discovered that the consumption of pollen contaminated with the pesticide imidacloprid by bee larvae had an effect on their adult behavior and also led to mass bee deaths. In 2014, Public Television Service released a documentary, Toxic Bees, Nature's May Day, which analyzed the damage to humans and other species from pesticide use. Now, three years later, the sequel, Toxic Bees 2, Human Intervention, has been released. It is the first documentary in Taiwan to be shot in 4K. The documentary investigates the reasons behind colony collapse disorder and draws concrete connections between bee deaths, pesticide abuse, and human health. Tajian 只要是幾個PPB,它的這個基因表現就出問題,所以這是我們在第二集裡面在呈現說在慢性毒裡面出現的問題其實是很嚴重。Numerous studies have shown that neonicotinoids kill bees. 現在基本上來講的話,大部分的科學文獻已經證明,也支持我們過去發表的文章就是尼古林眼睑內的的確是造成蜂群在冬天過冬不容易成功的一個最主要的原因。那目前為止呢,還有其他的科學文獻證明呢,除了蜜蜂之外,其他的受粉昆蟲,還有在土壤裡面還有水生的動物呢,也因為這個尼古丁煙前的殘留,受到很大的傷害。As neonicotinoids can affect the environment, the EU announced a two-year ban on imidacloprid in 2013. The bee colony mortality rate fell substantially one year after the ban was enacted. The EU therefore extended the ban indefinitely. 自從2013年歐盟通過這個兩年的禁令之後,歐盟這些會員國同時也進行一個現場的那個模擬,現場的monitor project,它這個project最主要的目的是觀察這個這個禁止使用之前跟禁止使用之後,冬天過冬的那個蜂巢的存活量的數目。那在2011年的時候,歐盟第一次拿到現場的資料,他們發現呢,只近了一年的時間,大部分的國家在冬天的時候,它那個冬天死亡的蜂巢比率降於20%,所以呢,歐盟根據這個數據呢,把這個兩
，但是这些农药对我们的毒害作用、对环境的影响等等，事实上是不能兼容于社会。所以因为这样，所以农药在这过去这三四十年的进步，逐渐在往哈很专业的药物、低毒、低用量，那对我们人、对环境都要很安全的那种药剂的发展。Taiwan is actively seeking to enact a Plant Doctor Certification Act to regulate pesticide use at the source. Under the act, plant doctors who understand plants and pesticides will oversee pesticide use, thereby swaging the public and promoting sustainability. Taiwan's agricultural development will also become more competitive. Use 农业上，现在，哈，在用药，我们现在很缺这一块。那也因为这样，所以我们在过去这啊十年来，哈，我们一直在推动一个，我们希望台湾农药的问题能够从源头解决的话，一定要一个专业的医师的这个制度。Toxic Bees to Human Intervention is an all-new visual experience that seeks to educate viewers about the environment. They can use this knowledge to fight for their health rights and benefits. 疯狂一的推出呢，我们呃得到了非常非常多的回响，在国际上也得到很多的奖项。那这促使我们想要在续集呢，把这一个话语权呢也呃交到观众自己的手上。我们希望呃第二集所带来的一个启发就是，无论呃你是在呃怎么样的一个岗位，只要能够。呃，在这个你的岗位上，能够呃多一份对于食品安全还有农药使用这样子的一个呃现象，能够付出自己的努力的话，其实呃是可以改变一些既有的游戏规则，也可以对环境呃还有对我们的健康能够带来很正面的影响。Cross-disciplinary experts will continue to use science and technology to study the effects of pesticides on bees in the future, as well as determine the effects of neonicotinoids on human health. Now, there are a few reports from Japan that have shown that it has a strong effect on the brain. But for children and children, we have no data yet. I believe that in the future, there will be enough data to prove that the neonicotinoids are going to harm children's brain and brain health. It is hoped that more tests and data will help to It is hoped that more tests and data will help to minimize the risks from pesticide use. There is also the expectation that environmental issues will be able to capture the attention of more and more people.